Hi there. Thank you for coming to the Roadshow today. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, you sir. Much. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you got here? Well, um, what we have here is a uh, small bust child sculpture from the era of a hard situation of Pompeii. Yes. The uh, Pompeii uh, was 79 AD and it was a volcano, it was a severe eruption which lasted several days and uh, basically preserved everything with how hot it was and, and the hot flash temperatures and all that preserved everything with the Humans. ash. And... Yes, if you, if you ever smelt the bust, it should smell like volcanic ash. Um, depends on the particular sculptor that would do this, but a lot of times through the pores they would have like a yeah, you can hear it, how it's a little bit open and hollow sounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can smell fresh Pompeii ash and a little bit of burnt flesh. I don't know if you ever smelled it, but that makes it even more unique because a lot of these were sealed up and there's no scent that comes out through the porous, you know, texture of it. Uh, this particular piece here is done very well. Do you know, do, do you know, have you done any research on it? This particular piece, do you know if it's a male or female in your opinion? Um, to me it would seem like a female. You're correct about halfway. This particular piece here is a inbred transsexual, which was a little bit common, more common than people think back then in the Pompeii era for that AD oh. period of time. Oh my! So they could breed with males or females. So this is a very rare, unique piece, especially in the condition that it's in. My so, My what do you God. think it's worth? I, oh, I don't have a clue, but this is just news to me. This is, the, I, I am in shock here. Yes, this is one of the most extraordinary pieces we've ever come across here that you brought in today on the road show. In my opinion, I cannot put any value on it. In my opinion, I have to go back to the old term, priceless, because there's no markings on it, which even tells who the sculptor was. And a lot of times you'll see back here, if, if I can just tip it forward a little bit, and you'll see back here in the back of it, which makes it like, this is normally where the cast has been marked, right back here, if you put your hand back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. What have you done? Uh, sir, you destroyed this, your piece. This, this is something that you have done. I, I I told you to put your hand there, sir. I'm not responsible for this. Now your negligence. Now you have just broken a priceless piece. Your turn. Oh yeah. boy. Yes, it's broken. You didn't put your hand out. Oh. When I, when I tell you to do something here on the road show, you do it, sir. You, you just ruined a piece of history, which is it's a one of one. It's irreplaceable. So what are you trying to tell me? This that what have you done? It was dear, a, it was dear a, God. It was a transsexual. Dear God, what have people you done? Are, people are against transsexual stuff like that, so it's not worth much. It wasn't really worth anything. Either. I don't give a shit what you call it. That What have you done? I haven't done much because it wasn't worth anything. You, you're negative. How are you going to compensate for this? I can cut you. I'll give you a seller item ticket, and you can go up to the booth there and, and get some money out of the deal. So let me go see oh. Janet. Up there, and Good Lord, she man. will cut you a check and take it to cash. You, cash you, into, you can't be serious. Take it to check into cash. Can we, is there any? No, you can't even glue that together. It's it's full of sperm. There you go. Take that up oh there. Oh my dear God, you're a sick man. Five dollars and eighty cents is what you're getting out of it, sir, because your negligence and you just ruined negligence. You are the ne you are responsible for this. Sam, can you please call a security, please? Don't make a scene here. We're on live camera. I don't give a shit es what's es going on. Escort You're, him out right look. now. Escort him out. Sir, you got to go. Take take it. Hey, go. hey, I haven't. Go grab a broom and sweep your shit up and get the hell out of here right now.